And good afternoon, wrestling fans. As you can Again, see, second. oh, here we go already. Before the show even sh starts, I'm Scott Spears, and we are heading into the big Halloween bash. Give me a minute. We're joined here by one of the legendary figures in the history of the WWE and so many other wrestling promotions. He is now in Marion, Ohio, and what fun we are going to have. So many times I've talked to this bully. They've named him right. Over the telephone. Scott Spears, answer me one question. Oh, here we go. How many cornfields they got in this area? Several. Several. You uh, bet uh, they do. They must be making a lot of, a lot of booze up here. How many have you been lost in? Oh, you're a real wise guy. You know what? You keep it up, and I'm going to take the entertainment out of professional wrestling and just slap the taste right out of your mouth. You're always threatening people. I am. Why? Because that's what I do. Me? You're going to hit an announcer? Why don't announcer, you pick on one yeah. of these big guys? Because you got a big mouth. Oh, that's thank why. You big mouth. Thank you very much. Well, you've got a big problem. I might have a big mouth, but oh, you've got a big problem. Because thanks to you. Oh, no, it wasn't thanks to me. The main event for the Halloween Bash was supposed to be Bobo Brazil Jr. defending the world heavyweight Bobo title. Brazil. Oh, here we go. I can't even get the sentence I out. I talked to Dr. Papudnik. He had verified Bobo Brazil Jr. had not a steel plate, a titanium plate surgically implanted in that head, and that's why I demanded no cocoa butts. Yes, but uh, a titanium plate in his head, uh, as I said to you on the, the telephone when we were doing the radio interviews, you painted yourself into a corner because if Bobo does use the cocoa butt, he's disqualified, and we all know that the only way to win him a title is by pinfall or submission, so you've given him an out, so that's not very bright. No, what's very bright is big bully Busick. What isn't bright is Scott Spears, because you think, because you got your fingers involved behind the scenes with Taggett and all this other executive committee. I don't. I, and you say I painted myself in a corner. I got a few surprises for you and the fans on that upcoming show at the old YMCA in Marion, Ohio. Marion, Ohio. Gee. Halloween is right for this event. But you know what? We all thought the Butcher Beast, the, ba the man who's been banned in several states for his brutality, would be facing Bobo Brazil Jr. in that match. But I got it on good authority. Hello? Yeah, you better call him. Have, no, have, no you, be fly, sir. have you been yeah, in contact yeah, yeah. with him? Have you been in contact with your man? Keep going. Scott. I know. You don't want to hear going. You don't want to hear this information. The Butcher Beast was over in Japan. Did you book him over there, by the way? I did. You did. I bet you did. But what you didn't know is that he faced a challenger over there, and because of his temperament and brutality, maybe taught by you, I don't know, he was not able to leave the country. What he is you detained. need to be aware okay. of is I only associate with the biggest, the toughest, and the smartest. The smartest is being the key word here, Really? See? The butcher beast? And that doesn't apply to you, pal. I'll uh, guarantee yeah. you that. The butcher beast, the smartest. Those words don't go together. But anyway, he will not make it back here for the match, Halloween Bash. We all know that. He's de detained for at least two weeks you in Japan. You got him on a no-fly zone. Uh, well, I don't have him you anywhere. Some, you I don't know anybody in Japan. Went and filed a false report we didn't with file the KGB, any reports. the NIA, and the CSA, and the FBI. What about that poor guy he injured over there? They say he may never wrestle again. Welcome to professional wrestling. What do you want? What do you want me to cry about it? Well, you should cry because the executive committee has uh, brought down an edict that you... Brought down well, a what? An edict. Edict. Yeah. That's a cornfield word. Google that edict. word, will you? Edict. The edict is brought down from Terry well, Tackett. Who are you talking to out there? Will you give me a second? Who are you talking Just give to? give me a second. Explain to the people what an edict is. We're going to have to pull his, his mic here in a second. An edict is a ruling brought down from the executive committee, Sean Kraft, President Terry Tackett. President Terry Tackett, I think, will be with us on a later program. Maybe he can delve into this. But the point is, is that the butcher beast is not going to be there. Like it or not, he ain't coming. Fully aware of that now, you thanks are, to the good. misgivings no. of the executive committee of this wrestling federation. Yeah. So I know what you and all your stupid little cronies got in plan. No cronies. But you just wait. You think I painted myself in the corner? You did. I want the wrestling fans to pay close attention to me. When you come out at Halloween, you're going to have the biggest surprise you have ever seen. You would pay huge money. I haven't quite confirmed it yet, but when I bring this wrestler in, you're going to get the surprise of your life. Bobo Brazil, you're going to need more than a titanium plate in your head to handle this guy. I'll tell you that much. Okay, I, I'll t let's run down this card here for a second because this is kind of important. And I think this makes my point. Butcher Beast, it ain't going to be. Uh, 
who else? Okay, you've got Ox Baker Jr. You've already got him involved in another match. Nice mustache, yes. Yeah, I did see it. Yes, I did. Nice mustache. Uh, you've got your hands in Tanu the Savage. I've heard of that. Oh, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna talk about that as time goes on. Oh, yeah. But he's involved in a match too. So who at this late hour, this late I date? I don't know what kind of shenanigans you pulled. I on don't have that U.S. Heavyweight Championship. Before. Irish shenanigans. shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans. I understand. Yeah, first of all, you led me to believe that it was one of Dick the Bruiser's young kids that he was bringing in that he no, was training. I never said that. You actually brought the Bruiser in. I didn't say that. Yep. You, you, you what you hear. You, imply. you need to clean out those I ears. Got, I got some bad information. You must have. I got a little surprise a lot of, for Dick the Bruiser. Too. Ha, have you ever got Hawks good information? Will, will show that little surprise. No. And, and who? Hoss? Hog. 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 Hog's are still at the buffet. Hog's still at the buffet. You really got it for the hog, don't you? You've uh, alluded to him many times on the radio. He's lately, I'll tell you that much. Well, we might have to book him on this show with you as time goes on. But who could you possibly get? You're avoiding the questions. You're like a politician. Who could you possibly get at this late date to face the man who's held the CCW heavyweight title, Bobo Brazil Jr., for two and a half years? Title reigns don't last that long anymore. Who are you going to find in 24 hours? See, what you fail to realize is I don't underestimate Bobo Brazil. As you said, he's held that title for a long time. Two. And I also have had somebody watching him. He's been in the gym training, but he see, he's got a mean streak up him. Oh. He's got a mean streak. What, he's always worried about all those fans coming out and supporting him and cheering him and loving him, and he gets to jumping around, clapping them hands. Have you ever seen the size of the hand on this guy? Who? Bubba Brazil. Oh, yes, I've seen his hands. Yeah. I don't know. You you segue all over the place. I don't I know where you are. Pay I thought you were, talking to, you were talking about your guy. Say, now well, you're praising Bobo. I'm not praising him. I'm just aware of what the competition is. So all you've got to know is that when I send somebody to the ring after Mr. Bobo Brazil, it ain't going to be for patty cakes. I'll tell you that much. Well, let me explain this to you. Uh, Bobo has won several titles, and there is a heavyweight title. See, I just wanted to bring this on the program this week because this is something you'll never get close it's to. It's a great cigar. Or you, you, know you just keep smoking that thing. This is a heavyweight title. This is what's on the line at Halloween Bash. Bobo Brazil Jr. Now get your hands off that peanut butter. I'm going to have my hands on it, believe me. I tell you, he, see, but what about you? Who? Who's in the match? Tell us. Nope. This is what it's for. Butcher Beast nope. is gone. Tell us who it is. I'm going to be like the FBI Director Coney. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm just going to give you a little hint. He hasn't done a good job of that lately. Who is it? Come on. I have I have some people who I might believe it is. Oh yeah, you're gonna throw, have one, throw them out there, oh, wise guy. Well, well, I think you might get that Goo Fox Baker Jr. in there twice that night. You don't care I how much they you ride those horses till they Listen, die. We have a plan. You don't have a plan. One of the plans is to have the United States Heavyweight Championship and to take that belt off Bobo Brazil Jr. And then we're gonna put them all in one stable, and you can't get your greasy paws on them anymore. By the influence. I know you're a huge Never fan of Dick the Bruiser. I know you're a huge fan of Bobo Brazil, just like these people out here when they come to the YMCA. I know what your plan is, Scott Spear. You're just a fan. You're upset because your fan died recently. That's sad. My fan died? The one. The only one. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's a sad event. Oh. Who is the Bada man? Bing, Will you stop boom. complaining? Who is the man? Who's going to face Bobo Brazil Jr.? With all these stipulations and goofs, is it going to be you? you you're going to you're going to strap it back together? I am officially retired and not stepping back into the ring. But if I did, I'd hit him so hard a flock of pigeons would come out of his ass. I guarantee you that much. Well, let me tell you something. You can make all the threats, all the innuendos that you would like to do. I know Bobo Brazil Jr. I know how tough he is, and you should not have worried about the. Hey, he's driving down from Detroit for that match. He's coming down, and I just want to make sure he, that, that that he knows how to get here. Have you told him how to get here? He'll be here. Yeah, because he's wrestled He'll be here, here before, here. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Two and a half years. All them fans coming to see Bobo Brazil Jr. Bobo Brazil Jr. I'm so tired of hearing Bobo Brazil Jr. And who? I'm so tired of hearing Hog. I'm so tired of hearing and Dick who? The Bruiser. And who? You think I drove all the way up here? To tell you who, you ain't getting, you who's a chocolate drink, pal. And who? What are you, an owl? Yeah, who? Who, 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 who? who, who? Okay, let's talk about the other match before we, because you're not going to tell us anything. No, I'm because not. Because the truth is you got nobody. That's what it really is all about, and we oh, all know Mr. that. Mr. Wise Guy. Yeah, you Mr. got Walter nobody. Cronkite. You haven't You haven't uh, greased anybody's palm yet to get him in there. You look a lot like Scott Shepard. Is that that guy on Fox, Shepard? 
Shepard Smith. Shepard Smith. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Right. Credentials are all the same. Yeah. Let's talk about so that U.S. title it. match because we have that newly, this will be newly introduced into the organization uh, coming up at Halloween Bash. The United States title. Nobody has ever held this title. Now, here's some of your chicanery. This started out as a three-way match, three-way Texas Tornado match between 565-pound yes, Uncle Hog, uh, your guy, Ox uh, Baker Jr. How, how many pounds? 65, 565. He put on a five pounds. Ox Baker Jr. and the Bruiser, Dick the Bruiser Jr. Three tough guys. Now, you alluded that you had Dick the Bruiser Jr. in your back pocket. We know that's not true. Now. Well, that was, I thought it was one of his students. No, you didn't. No, but you didn't. I know Dick the Bruiser. Read? I read? know the Dick the Bruiser, and don't think I haven't been talking Did to him. Did that smoke get in your eyes? You couldn't read the what, contract. Are you gonna sing a song for me? Now I think I'm going to have to. Uh, but the here's what happened, folks, and this is kind of hard to explain. But what happened was that this guy, the guy you're seeing right now on your television screen, Big Bully Busick, what he did was uh, very schemingly and shysterly and and just any nasty word you could come up with. He turned this into a four-way match, but I got a question about that in a second because you got in Tenu the Savage's back pocket. How'd you do that? That's an ugly face, let me tell you. Here's the deal. And what you don't like about this whole mess about no, Big care. Bully Busick coming in I don't care. Is, is you were unable to manipulate me like you've manipulated other people. Yeah. First of all, when Ox Baker Sr. was in here, I remember him. Okay. Oh, yeah. I talked with him about that. Oh, good. Okay, before he passed. God bless him. Okay. So, I immediately called Ox Baker Jr. Yeah. And I says, here's the plan, Stan. Uh -huh. So, he says, bully, I like it. Then you threw a monkey wrench in with this no-fly zone. Got my man stuck over there in Japan. That's right below Steubenville, isn't it? And then from there... A lot there, of gambling in Steubenville. Now you want to start on Steubenville. There's a lot of gambling in Steubenville. That's all I know. Jimmy the Greek. Jimmy the Greek. Go ahead. Personal friend. I bet he was. Is. He's gone. Still is. He's gone. I have connections up above, The too. spread on this would not be good for you. Anyway, let's talk... How? Okay, here's what I want to know. Okay, you thought you were smart. This is, once again, one of your tangled webs you've weaved. Uh, while you're trying to succeed, is you've turned this into a four-way... First of all, I don't use the word try. I do succeed. Okay. You've turned this U.S. title match into a four-way match, but here's the problem. Okay. You manage Ox Baker Jr., and it's my understanding, according to the press release I received, the man that's been added to that match, Tanu the Savage, mm -hmm. you also manage him. Now, explain to me how you both can promise them to be the United States champion. You manage them both. One's going to be the loser. One of the promises that I've given this stable of wrestlers that I've managed to put together mm -hmm. is that we're going to climb the ladder all the way to the top and see what's going to happen is is when them paydays start coming out we're all going to benefit so who's going to win you ain't you putting 10 cents in your pocket like you've been doing you've been taking the money you've been I wait till I get I'm going to get the word to Boa Brazil and tell him how you've been shystering him I'll put him you've on the show with you you've been taking about 50 bucks out of his pay for every pay too I bet he don't know that producer can we get Bobo on the show here in a couple of weeks with Mr. Busick? Yeah. Well, we can do that. Okay. Oh, we'll make that happen. Oh, good. Good. Here in about two weeks, it's going to be you and Bobo on the same set. Good. Maybe somebody will finally shut that mouth up. Anyway, it the point, be you, you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. Don't, don't, hey, that's my hanky. Oh, that's nice of you. Oh, you are a class act. What a, send that to the lab. My question is, two minutes left in this program, how can you... Uh, promote and front for both Tanu and Ox Baker in the same match. Come on. See, you're just about people's back pockets. Take the cotton out of your ears. I heard him. And put it in your mouth. Okay. Okay. What I've explained to you is we turned that into a four-way. Well, you did. And what's going to happen is is you're going to have two guys working together as a team. See, you don't have the ability to understand. But only that. one can win the title. Who do you think is going to win it? We, it it's going to be the team effort. Well, the people in Atlantic Th City think the Hog's going to win it. Your buddy Jimmy the Greek would have a line on the Hog. Uh, the Hog's still at the buffet up you'll in have Atlantic two City. Losers. Don't worry about the Hog. I hope hog. you got a big truck to get all those losers you know, out of there that them night. Them casinos see the Hog walk in, they shut the buffet down. You know what? Coming up next week, how about this? I'll lay this out for you. We're down to 60 seconds on this program. Next week, you're going to bring your man on, show all the people out here. I'm not even going to bring him on. You're going to bring but, him on? But the, what's going to happen is the people are going to say, I can't believe 
big bully Busick reached into his bag of tricks and called some of his old-time buddies to come up here. He'll be here next week. He'll be here next the week. The man facing Bobo Brazil at the Halloween Bash for the heavyweight title will be on this set with you next week. He will be here. You know, folks, I don't trust a word. I don't trust anything this guy says. A word out of his mouth, you can't take that to the bank. But you know what? We're going to call the executive committee. We're going to make sure I'm somebody's I'm going to take here. it to the bank. I'm going to take the money to the bank, and I'm taking those two belts to the bank, too. Next week, Big Boy Busick back on this program with the man who will be facing uh, Bobo Brazil. That's next week. But in two weeks, listen to this show. Hold on. No, just relax. We're going to have a really good show in two weeks because Bobo Brazil Jr., Uncle Hog, and Dick the Bruiser Jr. are going to be with us. No, no friends what are you of so yours nervous there? about? No, there's no friends of yours in that program. I just wanted to let you see that. Program. None of those guys like you. Anyway, next week, him and his stooge, he doesn't have anybody. I think he's going to be sitting here alone next week. I guarantee you that. But for uh, You keep throwing the insults. That's not you're, not gonna, you're not going to be insult. able to do much announcing. I'm going to tell you that because I'll shut your trap. Oh, my God. For this week on Wrestling Cavalcade. This is Scott Spears with Big Bully Music. Tune in next week and find out who's going to face Bobo Brazil Jr. at Halloween Bash.